How does figurative language impact the tone of a story? In this lesson, you will learn how to determine the impact word choice has on tone by drawing a mind picture. You've already read the text, A Pair of Silk Stockings, and in this short story, the author, Kate Chopin, uses many specific word choices to create images in the reader's mind. As you already know, an author's choice of words is very important in a story. As readers, we need to understand that authors sometimes want us to discover that their words have deeper meaning than they appear to have on paper. Sometimes authors use figurative language to give the reader an opportunity to discover deeper meaning. Figurative language conveys more than just facts. It also conveys ideas and brings images to the reader's mind. Authors use figurative language to add color and depth to their writing. Figurative language creates images in the reader's mind, and these images can lead to a deeper meaning for the reader. For example, the sentence, the sunshine hugged me and invited me outside when I opened my window, uses figurative language. In this sentence, figurative language creates an image in the reader's mind of the sunshine hugging and inviting someone outside. The deeper meaning is that it was a warm, inviting day. Authors can convey tone with figurative language. Tone is an author's attitude toward the subject she is writing about. Oftentimes, when an author uses figurative language to create images in the reader's mind, these images reflect the author's tone. Tone can create many different feelings, including feelings of surprise, sadness, anger, and excitement. This figurative language example creates a tone of happiness by using positive language and it ultimately leads the reader to feel happy. So let's review the steps for determining how figurative language impacts the tone of a story. First, identify specific word choices that are used to create images in the text. Then, draw what you see in your mind's eye on a sticky note. Ask yourself, what tone does this image represent? And jot down your answers. And finally, ask, what am I feeling when I look at the picture? And jot down this answer as well. Let's look at an example from the story. I'm going to read a paragraph that included specific word choices that create images. The figurative language here is comparing Mrs. Sommer's future to a dim, gaunt monster. The first thing I'm going to do is ask myself, what do I see in my mind's eye? And draw this image on a sticky note. Reader, please remember that these images don't need to be elaborate. You should simply sketch out what you see in your mind. The words Kate Chopin used in this sentence paint a very clear picture in my mind. I can picture a gaunt or skinny monster that looks scary. Next, I look at my image and ask myself, what tone does this image represent? Well, monsters are not usually very pleasant, and this monster creates an unsettled, uneasy tone in the story. I'll write this on my sticky note, too. Next, I ask myself, what am I feeling when I look at this picture? And when I look at the picture I drew, I feel nervous and a little scared. I think this because I don't like monsters or the thought of monsters. Monsters are scary to me. I'm going to jot this down on my sticky note. Here is another example of figurative language from the story. This part of the text is from the moment right before Mrs. Somers touches the silk stockings. Here, Kate Chopin is comparing the silk stockings to a tiara of diamonds. I know what a tiara is, something that a princess would wear. How glamorous! I can very easily picture a tiara in my mind's eye, so I'll draw this image on my sticky note. Next, I ask myself, what tone does this image represent? As I said, tiaras belong to princesses, and Mrs. Somers sees the stockings as if they were a tiara. Wow, the tone this image represents is one of excitement. Next, I ask myself, what am I feeling when I look at this picture? When I look at the picture I drew, I feel like something important will happen with these stockings because they are being compared to something as important and glamorous as a tiara. Let's look at a final passage from the text. First, I'll identify the specific word choices used to create an image. The words serpent-like are used to describe how the silk stockings fit into Mrs. Sommer's hand. Now I'll draw what I see in my mind's eye on a sticky note. I can see a slimy, slithering serpent gliding through Mrs. Sommer's delicate fingers. Next, I'm going to ask myself, what tone does this image represent? 
and when I look in my image and see the stocking replaced by a serpent, the tone represented is a nervous and evil tone. I add that to my sticky note. Next, I'm going to ask, what am I feeling when I look at the picture? When I look at the picture and see that serpent gliding through Mrs. Somers' delicate fingers, I get a bad feeling, like the stockings are not good for Mrs. Somers. I think this because serpents are not very cuddly and nice. They are slithery and, in my opinion, yucky. I definitely don't want one in my hand. I'll jot this down on my note. So let's decide how all of this tone fits together. At first, with that dim, gaunt monster, the tone is unsettled and uneasy, and this is how I see Mrs. Somers feeling at the beginning of the story. She's about to go shopping, she has a plan, but she still seems a bit uneasy about her trip. The next tone appears with the tiara figurative language. This also mirrors a change at Mrs. Somers. She's excited to be offered a chance to touch the silk stockings. The tone in the story is changing, and we've gone from uneasy to excited. The last example of my thinking is that comparison between the stockings and a serpent. The tone of the story has once again changed. Once Mrs. Summers actually gets the stockings in her hand, the tone shifts from one of excitement to nervous and evil. By putting all of my thinking together, I can see how the tone of the story also reflects the development of Mrs. Summers' character. Let's look back at our original question. How does figurative language impact the tone of a story? When an author uses figurative language to create images in the reader's mind, these images reflect the author's tone. The images Kate Chopin paints for her readers impact the feelings readers take away from the story. Additionally, the tone of a story can also reflect the development of characters. For example, in this story, the tone created by figurative language shifts from unsettled to excited and then to nervous. This directly reflects changes in Mrs. Summer's character as the story progresses. So how can we determine the impact figurative language has on the tone of a story? First, identify the specific word choices that are used to create images in the text. Then, draw what you see in your mind's eye on a sticky note. Ask yourself, what tone does this image represent? And finally, ask, what am I feeling when I look at the picture, and jot down this answer as well. In this lesson, you have learned how to determine the impact word choice has on tone by drawing a mind picture. no time, no second of time to devote to the past. The needs of the present absorbed her every faculty. A vision of the future